Imagine waking up tomorrow to a world overrun by zombies. The undead are knocking at your door and you have to fend off these flesh eaters with whatever you have at hand. Sounds like a plot straight out of a Hollywood movie, right? In our culture, the idea of a zombie apocalypse has been so deeply ingrained thanks to the constant bombardment of zombie movies and TV shows. From the slow, shambling walkers of Night of the Living Dead, to the fast, vicious infected of 28 Days Later, we've seen a multitude of zombie apocalypse scenarios play out on screen. And while most of us enjoy the thrill and horror of these tales from the safety of our couches, it often leaves us wondering, what would I do in such a situation? While a zombie apocalypse remains a far-fetched idea, the survival skills required to live through one are quite real and practical. You don't have to be a survival expert or a fitness fanatic to survive a zombie apocalypse. It's not about who can bench press the most or run the fastest. No, it's about being mentally prepared and having a solid survival plan in place. Think about it, you're not going to be flexing your muscles at a zombie. You're going to be using your noggin. Now let's talk basic survival skills. You don't have to be a MasterChef contestant to cook up some squirrels, and you certainly don't need a degree in civil engineering to build a decent shelter. The point is, you don't need a Bear Grylls level of expertise to survive. You just need to know the basics, and a dash of creativity wouldn't hurt. Water, food, shelter, these are the holy trinity of survival. So start learning how to find them, folks. And remember, in a zombie apocalypse, your brain is your best weapon. Not just for thinking, but zombies seem to find it quite tasty too. If you're planning to survive a zombie apocalypse, you need to pack like you're planning to survive a zombie apocalypse. First off, let's talk food. You're not going to survive long on a diet of your neighbor's brains, no matter how plump and juicy they might look. You'll need non-perishable items like canned goods and dry foods. Think beans, pasta, rice, and yes, even those canned peaches your grandma insists on serving every Thanksgiving. Next, water. You can't drink from the zombie-infested river, so you'll need to pack plenty of bottled water. Remember, the human body can survive up to three weeks without food, but only three days without water. So, unless you've developed a taste for zombie juice, pack enough water to last you at least a couple of weeks. A first aid kit is a must. You never know when you might trip over a dismembered zombie hand or get a nasty splinter while barricading your windows. Your kit should include bandages, antiseptic wipes, tweezers, and painkillers. And let's not forget about medication. If you're on any prescription drugs, be sure to pack enough to last you a while. And finally, weapons. No, we're not talking about your sarcastic wit or your devastatingly good looks. We mean actual physical weapons. A baseball bat, a crowbar, a machete, anything that can keep those zombies at bay. And don't forget the can opener. Nothing worse than having a can of beans and no way to open it during a zombie apocalypse. Surviving a zombie apocalypse is not a solo sport, it's a community effort. Now I know what you're thinking. I've watched enough horror movies to know that going it alone is the safest bet. But let's break it down. In a survival situation, teamwork isn't just beneficial, it's essential. Think about it, you've got different roles to fill. The scout who keeps an eye out for danger, the medic who patches up any zombie bites, the scavenger who finds food and water, and the leader who keeps everyone on track. Each person brings their strengths to the table, creating a well-rounded survival team. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, each piece fitting together to create a bigger picture. Alone, the pieces are just fragments, but together, they form a complete image. That's the power of community. Working together not only increases your chances of survival, but it also makes the journey a little less terrifying. So, Remember, the goal is to outlive the zombies, not your fellow survivors. So, are you ready for the zombie apocalypse? We've covered everything from mental stamina to survival kits and even touched on the strength of community. It's been quite a ride, hasn't it? And remember, these skills aren't just for the undead uprising. They're practical, real-world survival skills too. So, keep your wits about you, your survival kit handy, and your friends close. Remember, it's not about surviving the zombie apocalypse, it's about thriving in it. And if all else fails, just remember to run faster than your friend.